Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video we are going to set up an API that will actually let us add a new product to our database. So without wasting the time anymore, let's get into this video. And this is officially the part 9 of this make a full stack shopping website tutorial. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet or you have not accessed this playlist, don't wait. Just go quickly subscribe and access this playlist and comment down below how you are enjoying the series and what type of videos you want in the future. Well, let's get into it. First of all, we will open up our, our Visual Studio code. Uh, this one, sorry. Okay, after opening it, I will just fix my position. So, in the previous video, we said that we made this product model, right? So, now in this video, what we are going to do, we are just going to make an API to actually add a new product. How do we make APIs? Are we going to make APIs in the index.javascript file itself? No, we are not going to do that. Other than what we are going to do is we need to we'll make APIs in the controllers folder. Here we will make first of all uh, index or JavaScript file. So this just like you know if we just go like okay require controllers, it will take this index.js as default. Okay. So in, in this file, what we want to do, we need to set up our Express router. So we can add the end import you know export our routes like all of the api routes we have made here and we can import that all of the routes inside here we can just say slash api and don't do like request or response okay other than what we are going to do we we'll just say require dot slash controllers that's all we have to do it will automatically import all of the routes that we have made here here we have to just say uh constant router is equal to okay Router is equal to. You can just say require uh, express dot router. That's all we have to do, okay? And it is not important to name it as router. You can literally name it as anything you want. Like you want to name it something specific. Well, yeah, you can go ahead with that. It doesn't really matter, okay? Well, here we are going to say router dot get. So router dot get is like you're making get request to something. And router the post means you're making post request or something. Router uh, delete means you're making a delete request uh, to some URL. So here we are just going to say router dot post to if someone go you know make a post request to slash add products. What should happen? Uh, we should uh, we will create another file in this controllers folder, and we will name that as. Uh, Okay, let's do one thing. Let's make a folder. Let's say it as admin. So in this admin folder, we will have few options that the admin can only do. Let's say uh, add products dot JavaScript. If someone is admin, he can add the products. We will say constant add products is equal to require dot slash admin slash add products. Okay. So basically, admin can add the products, and we have to just paste it here. So what is going to happen? What is this thing going to do? It is going to, you know, here we should usually put the request and response, but it will pass all of those request and response things to the add products file. That is the add products JavaScript and JavaScript file, and we can handle the request and the response of the user there. And at the end, we have to just say, okay, uh, get no, it will say post requests. At the end, we have to say module dot export is equal to router okay that's how simple it is okay one second okay so now we will go to add products yeah we'll say constant add product is it going to be an asynchronous function that is going to take the request and response now here we need to import our model of the the products model so we'll say constant Product is equal to uh, require dot slash double dot slash and we need to go to model slash products. So basically, we got that thing here. Now, in here, we know that in the request, what is going to happen? Okay. Well, I told either the quantity is going to be the user is going to give the quantity. Or he's just going to keep it as a default one. He's he will not be given the problem quantity. Okay, so basically we will get we will just pass the recursive body directly to the user. Okay, so let's say 
call some data. Uh, data is going to be called the request body. In case it the we will say constant. So T Y is equal to if request of uh, body dot uh, was not defined. If that was this a uh, request dot body dot is defined, then what we want to say we want to keep its value as request of body dot Otherwise, we want to keep its value as one by default, right? As we we're saying by default, it's just going to be one. Okay. Like I uh, know this doesn't really much make sense, but why I'm doing this? Well, the reason behind doing this is like let's suppose the user sometime gave actually the value here, so then nothing is going to happen, right? So we want something to happen. We actually want the to get the user's data. So yeah, we will just do something like that, and we will say at the end, we will say the data. Okay, not the constant. We will say let data. And afterwards, data is just going to be uh, request a body like that, da, 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 right? Data replaced with QTY. So, what is this? What is what am I doing right here? You may be confused. So, all I'm doing, I'm just saying, you get every single object and the value from the data, and add another value and data, add another name and date value inside the inside this data objects so it will be just the new data I can just call it as this one it will be the name and the value in itself I will console log it okay in case you don't get it console log the data I will say model export is equal to add products so here we should be good to go and here we are good to go also now we can basically just go to our uh, thunder client make a new request Name it as http double dot slash colon slash slash localhost 5000 slash api slash get add products. Make your post request to we'll put some JSON in here. We'll say title is going to be something. Uh title slug. Okay, basically we don't need to put the slug here i will explain the reason behind that also okay title color size description image description image what else was there we can go to products Price, category, price, category, right? Well, the title will be, let's say, fancy Adidas shoes, color will be red, size will be S, description will be this, is a Adidas shoes image will be something from Google. Let's say nothing for now. Price will be some like let's say fifty dollars. Category will be shoes. Move this one. We need to start our server. We'll just go new terminal. Okay, we can just go normally like that. CD server. Nodemon. Make a send request. Okay, you cannot post to slash API slash add products. We cannot post to slash add products. Alrighty, what is wrong here? Making a post request to slash API slash add products. All right.
What if I said this one? Okay, it doesn't really matter, right? Router the post. Let's see how big the post gets to. Uh, add products. Then we should show them the page. Okay, they're just saying poser for error. We'll come back in a minute. Okay, guys. So I just noticed I'm using here app dot get, so it will only hello get request. So I need to use put like app I use. So basically now I will be able to make a post request also. So now if I go here, if I do a send, you can see we're getting the request like that. Before it was without the quantity, and afterwards they added the quantity in it, right? Pretty good. Now we know the quantity is being added. Now we also need to add our slug in here, okay? So how what is going to be the structure of our slug? So basically, slug is going to be unique and is required for all of them, right? So the structure of slug is going to be kind of like you know, kind of unique. So how are we gonna structure it? First of all, we're gonna get the title and then we will add uh, this color to the title, then we will add the size to the title. So this is how we are going to do it, okay? We will just separate our title, color, and size with the dash. Other than that, all of them are going to be in the URL, and there is not going to be any difference, right? Good. So we want slug to be look to look like something like that, okay? So basically, we have to just say here or upside, we'll say constant slug is called to. Uh, because the body dot title, uh, we'll just put it inside a uh, back ticks. Uh, then uh, the dash, then request dot the body dot color back ticks request dot body dot size. Here we will add the Kyotiwa quantity. We will add the slug also. So I think at the end we should get a result including the slug right now if i can log this one i will make a new request here okay we got the slug like that right fancy adidas shoes right okay, another thing we need to replace all spaces in here replace space with the dash so there are not going to be any spaces right okay if i do it again Fancy editors. I need to say replace all. If I do it here, you can see fancy editor shoes red S. And that's correct. It's working as it, as we expected it to, right? Good. Now here what we are going to do, we need to put some uh, image for uh for the you know one second. We need some uh added our shoes okay I'm sorry for the spelling but it doesn't really matter we'll get any added our shoe added our shoe okay red will be more preferred right let's say copy image link let's go back In the request let's post put this one image link good so I hope all of the other things are done right now here other than just console logging what we are doing what we are going to do instead, we will just say constant setup uh, setup show is going to be just await. We're going to create a new product schema. And, and here we're just going to say put the data in here, okay? So what is going to happen? We all know that whatever here we're giving title color, it, these all spellings are just same as what we mentioned in here. The title is quantity, price, color. So, with that information, we just can pass the data here, and it should just directly add this thing into database, okay, without any issues. So, when you just say dot save, it can just it will just directly save this thing in, into the database, right? We'll say add shoe. And after the edge is done, I want to say response dot send back the add shoe. Okay, so what I'm going to get back, I'm just only going to for now just send back the add shoe, so we will know 
uh, what was added in the database and uh, we will actually see whatever we got response from back from the database okay I can also put my MongoDB compass right now so we will exactly know how the things are going on I will just delete this one databases we have our shopping website and we have our products yeah it has been already made why hasn't already been made because we the server is running so the server somehow detected that we had a model connected somewhere so it just made it you know it just registered the model inside of our mongodb database so yeah now if i submit this one you can see this is what i get back uh if i do a control plus r refresh here you can see we added something in the database quantity is one because we didn't add it showed you know mention any quantity here that is a title that is a description here is the color size slug you can see the slug is working pretty fine we have the image category created at updated at and we get the exact information right here right so that is how do we add a product in our website backend right so you can add a multiple one you can have the we can also have the blue one maybe we can maybe have maybe we maybe want a different color for the blue one kind of more related to the blue section right okay this one is a little bit smaller i just want like 600 by 600 okay just let's just see on the top if there's something okay this one looks kind of bluish so we can just say copy image link you can go back here you can just uh, paste it right there this is editor shoe fancy editor shoe it's just the same category but different color right uh here i can also mention the quantity i would just say what you are just going to be three I will do a send. You can see quantity quantity was three, and it added in it into the database, right? With the three quantity. Now, what if I send it again? It's just going to just throw throw an error because we already mentioned that slug is just going to be unique. So if we give the, we added another product with the same slug, it is going to throw us error. What we can do? We can just enter the quantity of the slug that we have of the product that we have already up, uploaded, right? That's like a, how no, normally things work, right? You can see what the error they showed us is just going to be uh, some error duplicate error uh, collection shopping dot products in dex slug duplicate key right it's a duplicate key because we already mentioned it's going to be unique key so if I change the uh, slug to something else it just if I change the color or size to something else it is going to work pretty fine or even if I change the titles to something else it's going to work fine in that case also okay so maybe we can add another color here or maybe uh, just a black color if that is in the range of 600 by 600 okay my bad okay this is kind of looking uh, what we say um in which color range can i put it this one uh i will let me just put it in any color range it doesn't really matter okay we have blue red blue green uh let's say we have orange maybe okay red blue green orange i don't know not sure though gray quantity is going to be four image is going to be this one section category is going to be shoes we can go okay my bad that's the res already crashed from the last issue you can just click send and damn um, yeah it was sent it was added successfully okay and yeah, that was it for adding the new item to the sh uh, new shoe in here. You can just say, okay. Okay, we'll just say. Uh, when we add the new product. Do, 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 do. okay let's say for now just okay okay good so you can make your kind of like add-on panel to do this tips but we are not going to do much of a thing like we only had to add the product so for now just keeping it simple just adding a product like the simplest way we're just adding it like that okay well that was it for this video i told you before we are going to add product in this video in the next video what is going to happen we are actually going to start out with the product 
So basically when you give some data back to the front end, are you going to give them like 10 pieces of data having the same title? No. What we are going to do instead, we are going to, you know, take title as a common thing and whatever product is uh, is within the range of the title, we're just going to merge them together. We will just make an array of the sizes and colors and we will keep, uh, you know, if the color, uh, if there are multiple colors, we'll add the multiple colors and we'll push that, those multiple colors into the array. And if there are multiple sizes, we'll push the multiple sizes into the array. So the uh, user can actually get to know on the home screen we have that color and sizes. User, uh, user can actually see how many types of colors and sizes are available of, for that particular product title. Okay, that's how sizes and colors are actually set it up. So well, yeah, was a great video. I will see you in the next one. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please consider subscribing right now. I will keep. I will see you in the future video. Have a good day. Bye bye. See you nada.